You're probably watching this video because you're planning a trip to Medellin and you're wondering how much is this all gonna cost me? Well, if so, you're in the right place because I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step breakdown of what the perfect week in Medellin looks like and how much it's gonna cost you. Let's begin with the first thing that people ask, visa fees. Right now, I'm in the midst of planning a trip all over Asia and many of the countries have a visa fee to enter. Usually it's pretty low, 20, 30 bucks, but the great thing about Colombia is there's absolutely no visa fee for most countries, Canada, UK, US, Australia, all of us can enter Colombia for 30 days. Immediately we get it stamped at immigration and we don't have to pay anything. The next thing we need to look at is accommodation. How much is accommodation gonna cost us for a week? This depends really on which area you wanna live in. Also, what type of property you wanna live in. You wanna live in super budget, hostel style. You wanna live in something nice, comfortable, or you wanna live in luxury. For the purpose of this video, we're gonna go something mid-range. A nice one bedroom Airbnb to yourself in a nice neighborhood. The most popular neighborhoods that most tourists stay in when they come to Medellin are El Poblado and Laureles. If you want more information on the pros and cons of each of these neighborhoods, check the list of videos that I've left in the description of this video. So guys, this is the section of Poblado, if you don't know already, and you can see the range of prices here, 600, 550, 650, 420, 590. Let's look at the one that's uh, $422. You'd basically be looking at a one bedroom like this. It has a little kitchen, as you can see there. It doesn't have a separate bedroom. You have the bedroom in the same area as the kitchen. And that's all I can say about this place, really. It's very simple, but if you're a tourist and you're gonna be out most of the day, then it doesn't really matter. But the main thing about this is that it's in a really good location. This is right smack bang, almost in the middle of Poblado. So you're very close walking distance from all the cafes, restaurants, and things like that that you could ever need. And also about five minutes walk from the main nightlife area if you're into that too. But as you can see, the prices are pretty high in this area because it is the main tourist area. 422 is one of the cheapest that we're seeing. The other ones, 1,700, 800, 740, $1,000. And that's just a week. I'm not looking for a month. Believe it or not, that is the prices right now for a week rental on Airbnb in El Poblado. Let's shift gears now and let's search Laureles. So Laureles is another neighborhood where you'll find tourists not nearly as much as you find in Poblado, which is why you'll see heavily discounted pricing when it comes to comparing El Poblado. So if we zoom into the main area of Laureles between these two parks, first park right here and second park Laureles right here, you can see that immediately you're getting no prices basically over $500. Most of them about 400, 400, 390, 200, 200, 200. So if we look at this one, that's maybe uh, $260. It's located within a little co-working area. So that's nice if you got to do some work. Little bedroom, little balcony. It's got a little kitchenette. You know, this is not the Taj Mahal, but as I said before, you're coming for vacation. Maybe you just need a place to sleep. So this is probably good enough. And the price is really good on this one. It's only $261 for the whole week, which is basically half the price of Poblado. So we've seen places for about $450 in Poblado. We've seen places for about $250 in Laureles. Split the difference and we're gonna call it $350 for a week of housing in Medellin. So now our accommodation sorted, let's get to meals. So for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, all the meals I've included meal, one drink and a tip. Usually the tip here is 10%, it's not mandatory, but it's nice and usually it's only one or two dollars, so it doesn't really matter. And every time you go and eat at a restaurant, they're legally obliged to ask you, would you like to include the service? Quieres incluir el servicio? And that's 10%. With all those things included, meal, drink and tip, you're looking at about $10 for breakfast, $10 for lunch, and $20 for dinner. These are prices that you'll find in the tourist areas at sit-down restaurants. These are not menu of the day places where locals eat because there you can find meals for as low as three to five dollars. In these nicer places, the meals might be more about six, seven dollars. And for dinner, you guys might wanna have a few alcoholic drinks and the budget might go up a bit more. You might, you know, have an entree as well as a main. So that's why I've allowed 20 bucks instead of 10 bucks. I'm gonna give you an example of one of these places, which I really like going for dinner. It's a pizza restaurant called Olivia, a really, really nice place to go for a date or something like that. So it's not super low key. We have some pasta here for 35,000 pesos, Medellin gourmet meal for 55,000 pesos. Add the tip and the drink and you're out of there for about 15 to 20 bucks per person. Around $40 a day for food, you should be pretty safe to get three meals with that. Now we're done with food, let's get to transport. Probably the most expensive transport that you're gonna take in Medellin is the airport transfer. If you take the white taxi or even uber from medellin airport 
to the city of Medellin, which is about 30 minutes away, that's gonna cost you about $25. So $25 each way, this is gonna cost you $50 total. And as I said, this is the most expensive Uber or taxi you're gonna take on your whole trip. All the other ones are gonna be about two to three dollars. So let's say you're here for seven days. On those seven days, you go out of your house once and you go back to your house once. That is twice a day. So seven, that's 14. Plus, let's add another six trips in there in case you need to go between places, right? So let's call it 20 trips. And as I said, they're normally gonna cost you between two, three dollars, but let's add a little bit of buffer and call it four dollars per trip, right? So 20 Uber trips for four dollars each, your budget for transportation is $80 within the city. And as I said before, $50 on airport transfers. So your whole transportation budget for the whole week is $130. Now we're done with transport, let's talk about activities. And the pricing that I'm gonna give you for activities is in line with what I've put in my free ebook, The Perfect Week in Medellin. If you haven't got it already, just check the link in the description, put in your details and I'll send it to you immediately. From there, all the activities in that book is what we're gonna be talking about when it comes to pricing in this video. So in the book, I have activities set out for you for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And just to go through those quickly, obviously you're gonna learn more from the ebook once you download it. But on Monday, I have a downtown tour and markets. Tuesday, I have a tour of Comuno 13. On Wednesday, I have you going out to an amazing town just outside Medellin called Envigao, which is a little bit more traditional. On Thursday, you take a trip outside of Medellin to the town of Guatapé, which is a tourist spot that everybody who comes here goes to. On Friday, you take a coffee tour to a plantation. Saturday, you go for a hike to see one of the best views in the whole city. And on Sunday, you take a cable car to see probably what is the best view of the city. And you go to a place with beautiful nature called Parque RV. All those activities are gonna cost you $179. So we're almost at the end. There's just a couple more things we need to cross off the list. And these two things are optional, really. Some people might need them. Some people might not need them. The first thing is travel insurance. If you don't have travel insurance already from your credit card provider or whatever, you might wanna pick up some travel insurance for your trip in case anything happens here. Depending on how old you are, it's probably gonna cost you between $25 to $50 for the week. If you wanna get a free quote on how much that's gonna cost you, then just click this link that I've left there for you. For the purpose of this video, we've put in a figure of $30 for the week of travel insurance. And the final thing, which I really recommend because it makes your trip so much easier, is a SIM card, a local SIM card. So if your carrier from wherever country you're from uh, doesn't have a cheap plan or a way for you to use your phone here, then you can get a local SIM card and getting the SIM card plus getting enough data to last you a week is gonna cost you in the range about $15. So now we have everything planned. We have our accommodation, we have our transport, we have a whole week of activities. I understand now that this is probably not the type of week that all you're gonna to wanna to have because you're on vacation. Maybe you don't wanna do so many things, but I just wanted to take it to the max and show you all the amazing things you can do and how much is gonna cost you. Obviously, if you do less, it's gonna cost you less. So the total for all these things is gonna cost you 984 US dollars. What do you think about that? You've probably been doing some research already. Is that kind of where your budget aligned or is it too high? Is it low? Are you surprised? Are you shocked? Let me know in the comments. Guys, I've itemized this all into a spreadsheet and you can even put in your own items here. I'm gonna leave this spreadsheet in the description of this video if you wanna get access to it. All you need to do is go here, go file, make a copy, and then you just rename it whatever you want, and then you can get your own budget at the bottom here. And by the way, if you wanna keep rolling and planning a trip and watch some more great videos that are gonna give you value on value on value, you can just click this playlist and watch them now.